Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, a daily read for you, I guess. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. So uh, all links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, how you are coming into the reading is the magician. Very nice. Um, so you're coming into this in the reading as a, trying to manifest your dreams. You know, you have some ideas. You know, you're using all your willpower, all your manifestation power. You could even be doing, you know, spells, ritual, something, praying. Praying is a spell, you know, writing things down also spell so it's, it's you know you could be doing that um the cards want you to know that you are powerful you are magical your your ideas you can bring your ideas to life to fruition take the lead take matters in your own hands do something start something the magician is a one card so it's it's definitely about um power willpower this is pure masculine energy anytime you are in the energy of trying to institute something, bring in something into fruition or institution, you are acting from your masculine side. For all of us have both sides, feminine and masculine. So some of you are uh, really in your masculine energy because you're trying to start that new business, start that new diet, stay with the regimen. Um, whatever it is you're trying to start and really see some results in your, or the fruition of, you're trying to see something come into the 3D. OK, um, it says that you've got that divine spark, uh, you know, that bright flash of inspiration. And now you're 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 trying to put everything together so that you can do it. This card talks about playing your cards right. Make sure you play your cards right. If you. So if any of us have played cards before playing cards, any type of playing cards, you can have all of the good cards in your hands. But if you don't know how to use them, if you don't know when to play this card or that card, you can lose the game. So the so this card talks about you have everything you need, but know when to use it, know how to use it. Uh, inspiration, inspiration from the divine. Also, that's that's what that is about. Also, it talks about um, you know saying the right things too, because the magician governs language. So make sure your prayers are accurate or make sure that whatever you're asking for in writing or you're writing something or you're trying to sell yourself or sell something, make sure there is accuracy in whatever you're trying to put out there. If it's writing a memoir, book, I don't know why that's coming up. Make sure something is accurate. Um, the advice from spirit. The full card. Okay, very nice. Um, again, you've got that, that um, you know, spirit is allowing you to start over, have a do-over. If not even a do-over, it's, it's allowing you to start a new, a new development in a new direction, new, everything, the operative word there, new. So if you're trying to do something old, um, Maybe you can make it renewed, but there needs to be some new element to it here. If you just want old back, if you want to do old things, if you want to go to old places, if you want to deal with old people, this is not, you know, what spirit is trying to give you um, some insight about new, new, new beginnings. Um, some of you, you have a dream. You, you want to start that business. There's a business venture. There's a new job. There's travel. There's so many different new things you want to be a part of. There's also new development. Now, this could be new development with, you know, maybe an old colleague or an old lover, old roommate. Or I don't know why that's going to be old anything, but there's something new that's developing between the two of you. Or a spirit is telling you, let something new develop here. Don't bring in the old. Let something new flourish. I mean, she's got the amethyst crystal there, and that's for Aquarius. Um... It's a leap. It's a leap of faith backwards into maybe into, you know, um, an emotional situation where you don't know if you're going to come out on top. But it is. But um, the full card is also 
you know, associated with beginner's luck. So there's an element of luck associated with you taking that leap. Angelic presence with you also is what the spirit world wants to tell you. You have angels with you, guarding you, guiding you. Allow yourself to fall because she's going to fall backwards. Allow yourself to fall into this. The fool card talks about following a pipe dream. You know, others may feel like it's a pipe dream. You feel like this is the real thing. This is the one, the one person that you're supposed to be with, the one job, the one business, the one whatever. You feel like it's the one. It says follow your heart. No matter how foolish it may seem to others or foolish maybe even to you, follow your heart. If you're in a new connection, you know, uh, the sky is the limit. It's going to be what you and your person make it. It's a clean slate. An external factor here, an external energy is the four of pentacles. So externally there's stagnation or there's somebody or something that you need to deal with. So there's a holding on here. When you hold on to anything, then you have that, right? Okay, so if somebody, let's say, for instance, you were to, let's say your friend was about to get into a fight, right? But you stepped in and you held your friend back. Then you stopped your friend, right? You you held them back. Um, so that means you stopped them. There was no more energy in regards to them, you know, lunging forward or getting into a fight. You, you stopped it. There's nothing else there. This is what could be happening in some type of relationship, whether it's platonic, whether it's romantic, whether it's business, there's an, a cap to something. There's a stop. There's a hole. There's something holding you or it back. The four of pentacles can talk about sometimes a toxic, stagnant, stuck situation is stuck here. There's no growth. Because something is holding you back or you're like you're holding that friend back. It's something holding you there. There's no growth there. You can't move forward. Um, and it sometimes could even speak to the fact of uh, deep seated issues that either you or someone else needs to deal with. It could deal with ch childhood trauma. Somebody uh, there's a need to be possessive to control because everything else in your life is maybe out of control. Or you feel like you need a strong control or you need to take possession of because, you know, that's a false sense of um, stability or um, a false sense of security. This could be you or someone else, you know, somebody is holding on so tight because it's a false sense of security or stability. Somebody needs to release something. Just release it. Let it go. What happens, happens. Let your friend go. Let him, if your friend gets beat up or clobbers the person, whatever happens, happens, you know. Um, let it go, you know, because there's a holding back. On the flip side of this, it says that, you know, this is a large sum of money coming into you or that you have, you have amassed some level of wealth here. And you're trying to hold on to it. But money is energy. So move it around. Do what you need to do in order to grow it. Right? Not just move it around in terms of just go out freely. Giving it away to people or things that won't, you know, it, there won't be any return on it. No. But um, do your research in terms of investment and growth. Because holding on to it like you're holding that friend back. You know, that's all you'll have is that. Because you're not growing it. This also talks about somebody comes into a newfound, newfound wealth and you may start to be that miser, stingy, holding back. You're counting every dollar. You want to, you may be now 600,000 air. You got $600,000 cash liquid to your name. That's not all you have, but that's your liquid. Well, this would be like a person that doesn't even want to spend a thousand dollars. You know, they're just counting. They want to stay at six hundred thousand dollars liquidity. You know, this is a person who's found that that newfound wealth. And it's like, um, I just don't want it to go down. This is somebody who's looking at the bank balance. 
it's so funny because um yeah this is somebody um who needs to learn who needs to learn growth you know in order to maintain something you gotta let it grow it's like trying to have a plant and you want the plant to grow but then when it gets to a certain length or a certain height or a certain growth level you you try to stagnate it it's almost like those um, yeah, you try to stagnate the growth of the plant, but it's like, but you want it to grow though. So why are you cutting it down or, or not feeding it or what not watering it or whatnot? So something about you needing to let some energy flow here. Some of you could have, you have, you manifested this, whatever this is, you, you manifested it and it looks good for you. Um, there's an energy of needing to keep your plans to yourself. Some of you need to adjust your plans, go back to the drawing board, and um, maybe even revisit uh, your plans here. Um, make sure that you're going in the right direction. Also, keep your plans to yourself. Everyone is not happy for you. There's a level of gossiping about what you're doing, how you're doing it, how do you have this amount of money or wealth. Um, there's also an energy of somebody masquerading like they're, you know, maybe your friend, they're not, could be a hidden enemy. Um, someone's trying very hard to get away with something. You could be trying very hard to get away with the fact of, that you have money and you don't want people to know that you are manifesting something great, big, and you don't want people to know. So you're really trying to keep something under wraps or, yeah, what is this about? Yeah, keep the faith here, Aquarius, keep the faith because something is happening for you. Something will happen for you. Uh, do do know that. Do understand it. Yeah. So then we got that amethyst here, which is purple. And then we have the keep the faith card, which is purple. So some of you are royal of royal blood, maybe a royal lineage lineage, or you will, you'll be something like royalty or you, maybe you carry yourself like royalty, maybe not even, you know, unbeknownst to you. Um, also spirituality, purple, you know, very close to, uh, to divinity, to the heavens. Uh, maybe you've been putting some prayers up and they will be heard or they are heard. Um, keep, keep in mind that prayers are magic too. the magician. And we've got that purple there. So purple could be very significant to you also. Um, keep the faith in whatever you're doing. Don't don't lose faith in it because it can very much uh, work, work out well for you. Um, make sure that you. Uh, or processing your emotions accurately. If somebody is trying to be too domineering, too possessive, then um, you kind of you have to really look at that, scrutinize that scrutiny, because the magician is about scrutiny also. So you have to really kind of dissect that. Why is this person so, you know, controlling, trying to dominate me? There could be somebody trying to you know, force you into or try to force their will on you. They want to go right. You want to go left. And, and now they're trying to, you know, forcibly convince you that, you know, going right is the right choice and they want you to go right with them, you know? So you could be dealing with something like that. Let's see. Um, very nice. Okay. So the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So, um, the full moon in Capricorn, uh, I don't think we've had it yet. Oh, maybe we did. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, no, I don't think we've had it yet. Okay. Anyhow, um, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. It says that, um, maybe you working so hard, you haven't done a lot of work for something or to achieve something. That's going to end here. You're going to achieve it. Okay. You're right on the brink of achieving it. You'll, you have the money to make some large purchase with that full moon and Capricorn showing up. Um, also, uh, again, um, just balance your private and your personal life. Um, stop fearing the worst because things are turning out well for you. Um, you have been either hard headed or hard nosed, you know, um, just not listening. Um, do know that a professional project may be ending. So I don't know. Some of you could be, I heard retiring or going into something else at this time. You just need to release control. Yeah. 
because you're trying to control it here in the four of pentacles release control to the universe uh you have a strong work ethic aquarius and and that's a beautiful thing you know and it has served you well uh, you may be feeling hopeless, but keep the faith here because this tough cycle will end and you'll get what you want. Um, your dreams, especially your professional dreams could be coming true. And it tells you that you can, your, your dreams can come true without you being ruthless. Before I started the reading, uh, there's a song playing, um, and it was, um, it was money, 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 money. And, um, you know, and the, one of the hooks in that song is, um, don't let money change you, you know? So some of you with Capricorn being one of the rulers of money, Capricorn and cancer, um, don't let money change you. Um, and don't let the pursuit of trying to get it change you. Okay. Um, do know that some work related issues, um, may come to a head. Okay. And, um, this is an energy of wondering if you should stay or leave. And this, this card again, might just be a good sign or a strong sign that you need to make an exit and, uh, the, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Maybe it's very tough at work. People are jealous. People are backbiters. It's competitive for nothing. You know, some of you are going to make plans to leave in secret. Okay. Uh, and that's what you should be doing. Uh, that's what the cards uh, indicate here. I'm going to leave you with the last Oracle card here. I think you, your emotional tie to this is what is what's keeping you stuck. Um, you're not sure if you should stay in this uh, career, this job or not. You have plans, but the cards are saying that make sure you have a practical plan that it, you know, it all works together, that it makes sense in the real world, in the 3d, you can't be, um, you know, make sure you're reading books, you're learning, you're increasing your, your knowledge, your awareness of whatever it is you're trying to get into. Um, I keep seeing this card show up. So I'll, I'll put out a whole lot of money. And we do have the four of pentacles showing up, you know, and that talks about a large sum of money. Some of you could be manifesting that or you will get it or you'll get a payout or you'll get a severance. Um, some of you could need the money because you're in need. Okay. Whatever, for whatever reason. Um, let's get one card. Let's get one lasting card. All right. Let's see. What do you want to tell the Aquarius collective? So it looks like you can have what you want, but the universe wants you to plan accurately, correctly, correctly. Um, don't stay in something that's stuck, toxic, um, that's, that has no growth. Maybe you've reached a ceiling in something. There is, you can't go any further here. Um, take that leap of faith backwards, fall into that. Um, this also could be about a new relationship or maybe something new developing with an old person. Um, don't fear the worst. Um, if you do, and you go into a relationship like that, uh, wow, this is crazy. All right. So a physical fight, uh, can't keep steady work. All right. So I don't know how that re relates to, um, let's see. Oh, okay. It's very competitive in your job. It's very competitive. These people, um, there's a lot of backbiting, you know, like a lot of people like, oh, okay, well, if I can get her fired, then I can take her position and get, make the money that she was making or he, that he was making. And a lot of backbiting. Um, somebody also sabotages, um, connections here. Um, it's like when you think that you've got something steady, the universe shows you that this is not where you're supposed to be. And that's why there's been a lot of bouncing around, maybe in your career, in your finance sector. Uh, for some of you, there will be a physical fight, you know, or there has been a fight or there was a fight or somebody wants to fight you. It's funny because I gave the analogy of fighting. So, uh, you 
Interesting. Okay, I just heard that this fight could not even involve you. I mean, you could be, you could see it, you could be witness to it, but it might not even involve you. It may involve other people because somebody is unstable. Um, somebody is uh, not able to uh, maintain either work or they're not able to maintain their finances or somebody is also fighting because um, somebody spent the money. I don't know. Somebody spent money. It's been a whole lot of money. Okay. It is. It could turn into a fight maybe with you and your partner. There's a, there's red here and then orange. So there's a lot of um, passion and fire. So this could be a very passionate approach to which it turns into a physical fight. Okay. Um, somebody put a lot of emotions into a relationship. They didn't get what they wanted. Now they want to fight this person or they did want to fight them or there was a fight. Um, because this person kept several people and their energy is what I'm getting. Somebody is still holding on to this relationship with the four of pentacles. It says release it, release it. Do what you need to do to release I think we're going to do a release or cord cutting ceremony on uh, December 31st. We're going to release corporately. I'm going to go live. We're going to do get your cords because we're going to cut cords and we're going to pray and we're going to release things and leave it in 2021. Okay. We can't take this with us. And also, um, you know, betterment release, release, um, old toxic ways for yourself, you know, cause everybody is a toxic Everybody can be toxic around you and you're just an angel. I mean, very rarely does it happen like that. I'm not saying it never has, but come on. We all have our ways, right? So anyhow, um, yeah, this is what I have for you. Yeah, some of you are in need of new friends. Some people, These people don't care for you, okay? And uh, your emotions could be running high right now. Um, yeah. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. If you got in a fight, if you were in a fight, if someone wants to fight you, if people are jealous of you, let me know. Let me know what is going on here. Um, and let's banish these people. If you have jealous friends or you have people that are jealous of you, um, put some black hearts down there because we're going to banish them. If you have a, a job situation you want to get out of and um, you, know, you want to take that leap of faith into something else, um, put some of those uh, black hearts. We're going to banish all this negativity. We're going to put this out of our energy for 2022. Okay. All right. So Aquarius, this is what I have again. If you need your own personal reading, go over to the website book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also uh, come learn the Tarot with me. We had our first Tarot class, and I tell you, it was phenomenal. Um, come learn the Tarot with me. You do not have to book all classes at once. You can book you know, how you want to. Uh, the classes are linked below. It is a group setting. Uh, it holds up to 50 people at a time. All right. Um, that's what I have for you guys. Take care. Many blessings.